In this video, we are in Interlock in Switzerland and exploring the St. Beatus Caves together as a family. For the most part, we've been exploring the nearby mountains in Grindelwald and Lauterbrunnen. However, we wanted to take a little break, so we decided to head down the road just about 10 minutes away from Interlaken along Lake Thun are these Beatus Caves. You pull over to the side of the road, you check in with this, uh, this little house. There's a museum inside here. It only takes about five minutes to walk around. And then you head up the trail. It's about a quarter mile zigzagging up some switchbacks to the entrance of the cave. The walk itself is a lot of the fun, looking down onto the clear blue waters of Lake Thun. Make sure to enjoy the scenery along the way. You'll enjoy the hike even more. There's just enough switchbacks here to get your heart beating. Once at the top, you can grab a lunch. There is a little cafe up here, or you can take your ticket and just head right in. By the way, tickets, about 17 Swiss francs. That's about $17 for an adult and 10 for a kid. Up until a few years ago, you needed to have a tour guide take you along. And now you can just take yourself, and that's a good thing. There's some cool things to see in this cave, but it's not one where I think you need a tour guide to take you for a couple hours. The cave is nice and cool. It feels great to be in here on a hot day. And I imagine in the winter time, if you were to come, it would feel a little bit warm compared to the outside air. And so expect that. You can wear a light jacket if you want. Most of my kids just wear t-shirts, and they said it was getting a little chilly near the end, but overall, it felt good to get out of the heat. There is a Goonies-esque feel to these caves. It might just be the lighting or the pathways, but I was reminded of the 1980s film a lot with the kids seeking the treasure. I almost thought I was gonna go around the corner and find One-Eyed Willie's ship. Compared to other caves that I've been in, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of formations. Stalactites from the ceilings or big open rooms with a variety of different things. There were some, but they weren't too common. What does that look like? A finger. Yeah, it definitely looks like a finger. I'd yeah. say a finger. A witch finger. What does it really look like? I really like the amount of still water in this cave, which acted as a reflecting mirror, bouncing the light off of different caverns. Just finished with the St. Beatus Caves. Uh, I really liked them. A couple things to know is, first of all, they go back a ways, something like one kilometer deep, but it's an out and back. And so we thought there was an exit at the end and there was not an exit at the end. You have to actually turn around and come back. And that actually upset a few people that were kind of walking with us. So beware that, you know, this is not an out and then you're going through a loop. You actually have to go all the way in and then turn around and you're going to see the exact same stuff coming back around. But the thing to love about these caves are the water is pouring through the entire thing. It's really cool to see that water just splashing in and out through the walkway and you're, you're not gonna get wet, but some of the still ponds and the, the stream, the creek that flows through there is really worthwhile. Uh, one thing I didn't like, there weren't a lot of stalactites and a lot of really beautiful formations in the cave it looks like some of them have been broken down over the years and you know maybe not the most beautiful cave i've ever seen but it felt so good one thing switzerland gets hot in the summertime we're talking 80 degrees plus and it's nice to be in a cool cave where you're gonna feel you know a little relief from that from that hot sun the question you really have to ask though is is this really what you want to do? Maybe, I think it's something you can do in two or three hours of time.
But remember, this is Switzerland. You're in Interlaken, and you have some of the most beautiful mountains, beautiful lakes in the world, including one right down here uh, where I'm standing. You can probably see it here. And is it worth your time being in a cave, or would you rather spend some time on the lake or up in the mountains? Overall, up to you. Who discovered the strawberries? Abby. Mom. Uh, I did. <laughs> and they're tiny? You're gonna make a good room. They're right there, look how cute. Here, go up. They're right there. See, they're right there, Brad. They're everywhere. Look how cute, you want me to need another one? There's debate if this is gonna kill us or not. That's the cutest little strawberry ever. Oh, that one's that one. Could if be poisonous. I die in 24 hours, you know why, baby strawberries. David's convinced that just like poison ivy, Probably we don't need the wild strawberries. No. Even dad's on my side. We die in 